Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. Yeah. And incidentally, I'm the one who is carrying the weight of a small meteoroid. Yeah, yeah, come on. Mm, is this a wall here? What's going on? No, oh, okay. So, he's got a couple people in here. We've got an old guy. You can tell he's old because he has gray hair. Um, oh, where are we going? Let's talk to this person. Ready to set up? Well, let's look around first. Gee, you know, I think I'd like to carry this excruciatingly heavy object around some more. Thanks for asking, though. What does this person have to say? Can I talk to that person? Doctor. Oh, that's the doctor. He's unresponsive at this point. But by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. Ah, it's a computer game. I got all the time in the world. Uh, there was something I could look at over here. What was it? Something showed up for a second. Let's check out their library. A selection of readings from medical journals. Still a selection of readings from medical journals. Oh, is that the same thing? Can I go through here? It's in here. Ooh. Oh, okay. Uh, ooh, there's something right here on the ground. Oh, okay, I can turn on the light. Turn off the light. Turn on the light. Can we take a bath? Uh, what else can we do? Nope, guess we can't use the toilet. Okay. Oh, oh, turned off the light in there. All right. All right, just making sure it works. We need to make sure that light works before we do whatever we're going to do. All right, so can we talk to the dude? Uh, doesn't look like it. Um, I guess I'm not seeing anything else I could move my cursor over. What's this over here? Let's go into this room. Oh, it's like a hallway here with pictures in it. It's a weird house. Let's look at this picture. A painting of a lighthouse by the cliffside. Oh, I have to walk closer to it, maybe. A painting of a woman holding something yellow in blue. Everybody remember that. Write that down. What is this, a bunny? A painting of an animal of some sort. And then these are children, it looks like. What's wrong? Why can't I look at it? Oh, man. Why can't I look at that one for reasons unknown? All right. Well, it looks like children. Hmm. I wonder why I couldn't look at it. All right, Lily. Ready to set up? Yeah, let's set the machine down. Yes, it'll just be a moment. What the heck are we going to do with this machine? Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts. Oh crap. Hey, guess what? I'm probably going to turn off those lights in that bathroom. Standard procedures, just keeping you on your toes. Oh yeah, let's all be flippant about this. Oh, that's a pretty neat machine there. How's he doing? Not so well, if I were to say he's got just a day or two left. Oh my. That's plenty of time. <laughs> So, you two can grant him any wish, huh? Oh wow, is that what we're doing? We're gonna grant this guy a wish? To try, at least. But we always succeed, because we're awesome. So, what's the wish? The moon. Question mark. The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezers just keep on getting crazier, huh? Man, these people are really disrespectful. This guy's on his deathbed, and they're being all comical. 
So, can you do it? It depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That... I don't really know much. Johnny's an odd man. Through the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paperboy for Pete's sake. Shush, just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. Oh, okay. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind, since he signed for you two. Hmm, so be it. Okay, so now we're supposed to look around the house. Alright, which one of us plays detective? Who goes to search the house? Well, he's working the machine, so why don't you go, Dr. Rosaline? Thanks for the offer, but I'm busy leaving a butt print in this chair. Right, do continue. Tommy and Sarah can show you around. They're probably at the piano downstairs. Okay. We can talk to him again, I guess. Shoo, go do your detective work. All right. Tommy and Sarah can take you around the house if you need any assistance. They're probably downstairs at the piano. Hey, how'd you get on this side? I didn't see you walk over here. Okay, so... A selection of readings for medical journals. Um, am I supposed to go look at these pictures now? Will they say something different now or not? Probably not, but let's just go be thorough. So again, a painting of a lighthouse by the cliffside. Painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. Painting of an animal of some sort. Here we go. A casual painting of three people. Oh, learning all kinds of stuff about this guy. Um, I don't really know what the purpose of the bathroom is, but there's a green arrow there, so let's go into the bathroom. Is there pictures in the bathroom I could look at? Doesn't look like it. All I could do is turn the lights on and off. Well, they're both off, right? All right, I don't really know what this room is for, so we're going to leave this room. Well, let's go downstairs, check in with Tommy and Sarah. Oh, stairs are this way. Oh, I can look at the clock. Oh, wait, come back here for a moment. Oh, okay, what? I have something for you. Okay, what is it? What is it, Doc? That was the doctor saying that to me. Here, take this. Received remote patient monitor. Oh my. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. Well, how long am I going to be gone? Thanks. I was just going to ask for it. Yeah, right you were. Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in menu. Okay. Is this... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Here we go. So here's his heart monitor. Notes. No notes. And I have this item, remote, remote patient monitor. Collect, collect, sorry, connects wirelessly to the patient's local monitor for live supervision. All right. Thanks for that. Let's go out here and uh, look at this clock. No, no, don't go downstairs. Look at the clock. Oh. Okay. All right. I'm going to look around a little bit, see if I could look at anything <laughs> before the kids, before I bother the kids. Let's see if I could look at anything in this room now. Oh, I can look at this clock now. All right. Cool. Awesome. All right. So the kids didn't seem to care that I turned off their light. Oh, now it's on. Okay. Looks like there's a phone on the table. Some baguettes. A little plant. What's yellow mean? Oh. Oh, another bathroom. Wonderful. 
Oh. Turn on and store tap water? What? Turn on and store tap water. Not right this moment. Huh. Conserve electricity. Turn off lights when you leave the room. What's down here? Better ask those kids first. Oh, well, aren't you polite? Go downstairs anyways? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna look around with or without the kids. A dusty pile of Animorphs books sit here. Okay. What's this? The chest is locked. Alright. What is that? What the heck is that supposed to be? What's this? The chest is locked. Some boxes here. Boxes filled with colored papers. What's this? The cabinet is filled with unused fine china. Okay. The cabinet is filled with dusty books. We're really learning a lot about this guy. Huh, I know I saw it turn to a hand there for a second. Alright, I turned off the light. Down in a spooky basement. Actually, oh, no. looks like a nice basement, actually. Let's go ahead and turn on this light so we can see what the heck we're doing. So what's in this room? The door is locked. Suspicious. Nothing good could come from a locked door in the basement. I'd better ask those kids first. Go inside anyways? Yes. Hmm, what have we here? I'm gonna turn on the lights so I can see what the heck I'm doing. Uh, I can't look at anything on his desk? Guess not. Hmm, what's going on over here? Nothing? Dusk light. The tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. <laughs> Dusk light. Read passage. Uh, maybe another year. Okay. You know, I told you to read it, and you didn't read it. So I'm, I'm already not very happy with you. I know I saw the cursor change here. The Emperor's New Clothes by Hans Christian Andersen. Read passage. And the colors, the colors of that beautiful fabric. I have never seen anything like it in my life. They all tried to conceal their disappointment at not being able to see the clothes. A child, however, who had no important role and could only see things as his eyes showed them to him, went up to the carriage. But he hasn't got anything on, the child said. Don't talk nonsense, his father reprimanded. But the boy's remark, which has been heard by the bystanders, was repeated over and over. Y'all remember that? You remember that? Alright, I guess I can't look at that bookshelf. Um, all right, well, I guess that's all there is to see in this room. Turn off the light. Leave the room. There's another room over here, I believe. These kids don't seem to care what I'm doing. So I'm just going to continue snooping around their house. Oh, okay. Let's turn on the light so we can see what we're doing. Why is there a candy cane there? Nothing to look at in here? Okay. I'm just clicking. Alright. Well, I guess I'll talk to the kids now. Let's see how the patient's doing. He looks fine. What's up, kids? What you want? Show around the house. Sarah and Tommy, right? Your mother said to ask you two to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe? I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah. Uh, what would you like? We want... One trillion dollars. 